with 2,000 years of history as their backdrop, worshippers gather for evening prayers. The service is in Aramaic, the ancient language of Christ. This is the room the Syrian Orthodox believe Jesus and his disciples had the Last Supper. But their community, like other Christian ones here, is shrinking. There are just 1,000 Syrian Orthodox families left in the Holy Land, a fraction of the number 30 years ago. Israel's occupation makes even the most basic tasks difficult. We are trying to keep our community here, but we have no freedom of movement or even permission to work. We try to build homes for our newly married couples, but we are not given permits for that either. Problems the clergy try to leave behind them, at least at Christmas time. Once a year, all the denominations have a carol singing dinner. Relations between the churches are often tense with arguments over rights to holy sites. But the Christmas message of forgiveness and new beginnings seems to inspire church leaders at this time of year. After the party come the prayers. The next morning, Sunday Mass is held at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which is said to mark the place Jesus was crucified. It's the experience of a lifetime for pilgrims like Marcus and his sister. I think it's very special to be here and to really be able to, to draw into that time and to walk around and, and really know that yeah, the Lord Jesus walked here. Or I regularly visit the service in Germany, but this is really something different because you kind of feel that you're closer, as he said, to your faith. The Syrian Orthodox believe that this place, the center of their monastery, is where the Virgin Mary and the disciples spent years after Jesus' death. And just by touching the stone walls of this courtyard, they say they feel spiritually closer to God. For those who live here, religion provides moments of peace in a place known for centuries of war. Shireen Tadros Al Jazeera, Jerusalem's Old City.